A few days ago, I had an amazing, very vivid dream. In this dream, I walked into a workshop and in this shop was, was this huge table. It was long, it was wide, it was sturdy. And to the left side, to the left corner was a huge anvil. It's the first thing that I saw. It wasn't a small one, it was a big one. And then when I walked up to the table, all the way across the table was every single tool you could possibly imagine that somebody would use to work on metal. Now there were some new modern tools and also the kind of tools that you would see that your grandfather may have. And, and then to the right there was a huge fire pit. This is a place that you would put the metal in. This is, is the refiner's fire. And then right to the right of the anvil, I saw some metal working gloves. Now, if you've ever worked with metal, the type of gloves that you wear, they're not just normal gloves, but, but they're, they're different. They're sturdy, they're strong. And the, the, the mouth of the glove where you would enter your hand in was completely wide open as it was like an invitation. And then to the left side of the anvil was a raw piece of metal. And when I woke up, I asked the Lord to give me this details, just give me some insight. And the Lord said, there's numerous things that we're going to talk about. One of the most powerful things is an anvil it is like a rock. It is solid. And anytime you need to be reshaped, anytime you need to be remoted, you can fall upon the rock, which is Christ. Metal can always get put back on an anvil and get reshaped, get twisted. If anything's been out of shape, you can bend it back in. Every tool represented everything in our life is actually all around us. Everything that you will ever need is all around you and sometimes you may not even see it. Sometimes you may do a project and the tool that you needed was right before you. The fire of course was the refiner's fire. Anytime somebody is wanting to work on metal, they're wanting to reshape metal, they're wanting to bend it, they're wanting to twist it, they're wanting to maneuver it around, they stick it into the fire where it is moldable. It, it makes it easier to work on. You know, that's how we are. When we're in the fire of God, we become what the creator wants us to become. And the, the gloves, they're twofold. One, the, I felt the Lord say, it is like the gloves of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one that puts the gloves on, has all the tools, pulls the, the tools over to the metal, puts them on there, puts them in the fire. And also at the end of this, the Lord spoke to me and said, the gloves are for us. That when we get ready and we get prepared, the first thing you do is you pull those gloves on, you get them tight, that God has given us tools all around us. He's given us the fire to mold and shape other people. In this dream, the anvil, the tools, the raw metal, and the fire was all coming together at whatever the Lord needed them to use. Now, I've never had the Lord say this to tell people, but I'm gonna tell you. At this very vivid picture that I've laid out before you, the Holy Spirit told me when I tell people this dream, tell them to pray about this dream and get a greater revelation of what this dream can mean to them. There's an anvil, numerous tools, raw metal, gloves, and fire. Some of you may simply need to go through a process that you spend extra time in fasting and prayer and get in the fire of God so he can mold you and shape you. Also, there's people that you may be discipling that you need to tell them to spend extra time in fasting and prayer so that you can help being led by the Holy Spirit, guide and lead and mold people to become the ones that God would have them to be. I hope this helped.